Hey guys, it's Fida and today we're going to be making chicken cheese diner rolls. These are really delicious and also super simple to make. It has a really nice and tasty chicken filling with the cheese inside and also the bread is really soft. Let's begin by making the dough because it needs some time to rest. Into 2 cups of all-purpose flour add in 2 teaspoons of sugar, 1.5 teaspoons of yeast and 1 teaspoon of salt. Then lightly beat in an egg and pour that in. Into it I'm also going to pour in around 3 tablespoons of ghee. You can also pour in butter, just melted butter will be fine. Then pour in milk. First I'm just going to pour in half a cup and see. And then later on I'll add in more milk if I need. So this dough needs to be really 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 sticky and soft. For that I'm going to add in again around 2 more tablespoons of milk, mixing that up. And that doesn't seem enough so I'm going to pour in 2 more tablespoons. So totally I've poured in half a cup at first and then added in 1 fourth cup later. So that's totally 3 fourth cup of milk and the dough should be this sticky. It should be very very sticky like this. Once that's mixed up, I'm going to cover it and rest it for one and a half hours. And meanwhile, let's make the chicken filling. Into your pan, add in two tablespoons of butter. Let it melt and then add in one teaspoon of ginger paste and one teaspoon of garlic paste. Mix it up, just saute it a little bit. And then add in the onions. I'm taking one whole onion chopped. I've just chopped into really really tiny bits so that it's easier to fill in. Add in 3 green chilies chopped. And now just saute that until it cooks really well. You don't want it to become dark brown or light brown, just saute it until it cooks. The onions just need to cook and become soft. I've added in some salt and into it I'm going to add in 1 fourth cup of capsicums. Along with it, add in 2 tablespoons of grated carrots and a few spices. I'm adding in 1 teaspoon of red chili flakes, 1 teaspoon of pepper powder and 2 tablespoons of parsley. You can also use coriander chopped. I'm also going to add in 1 fourth teaspoon of turmeric. And also the amount of vegetables are up to your choice. You can add in as much as you want and you can also add in a little bit more vegetables, different kind of vegetables like cabbages and any sort of vegetables that you like. Then let's add in the chicken. I've taken 250 grams of chicken breast. I've just cooked that with salt and pepper and then just shredded them into small pieces like this. That's all mixed up. Into it I'm just going to add in 1 tablespoon of all-purpose flour. Just mix it up lightly. There and we're going to pour in some milk. Pour 1 cup of milk and then let it all thicken up. We've added in the all-purpose flour so the milk is eventually going to thicken up and dry out. Keep stirring until the milk thickens really well. And here the chicken filling is ready. At this point you can just off the flame. It's eventually going to thicken up as it cools. So don't thicken it too much. Now let's get back to our fully risen dough. You'll see that once the dough rests a little bit then it's not going to be as sticky as it was before. But it's still going to be soft. So the dough is really soft. And... It's not that sticky. You can just work with it right away. Just make a ball out of it and I'm going to cut them into small pieces. I'm going to cut them into 10 small sized balls. This dough will go for 10 servings. So just cut them into 10 pieces. And just make balls out of each of these pieces. And there, that's done. Let's start making the rolls now. For that, I'm just going to dust the dough with a little bit of all-purpose flour. 
just the countertop and then on top of the dough and start rolling it. This is to make sure that the layers come perfectly. So you should always make sure that you dust it with a little bit of flour. Then you need to roll it out really thin and also very long. Then in between just keep the chicken filling. Not in between, just to one end, leaving a little bit of space. And on top of that I'm just going to keep mozzarella cheese. Cheese is optional, if you don't like cheese then you can avoid it. Then take these two sides and fold it over. Like that so it's basically just like making an egg wrap so you can just go ahead and do it if you know just fold these two sides like that and then you just gotta roll it And there the roll is ready. It's a very soft dough so make sure you handle it very carefully so that the shape doesn't lift off. I've lined the baking pan with parchment paper. I'm just going to keep the roll on top of the parchment paper and continue doing the same thing with the rest of it. Just make rolls and keep it onto the baking pan. Here I've kept it onto the baking pan and I'm going to leave a little bit of space in between each of the rolls because once they rise and bake, they're going to stick together. Rest it for another 30 minutes. And here I have another small pan. I've lined it with parchment paper and I'm just going to keep two more rolls and show you how to make them without an oven. If you don't have an oven, you can make them in a pressure cooker. So leave a little bit of space between and let that also rest for 30 minutes. So for making it in the pressure cooker here, I've taken the pressure cooker, I'm just going to put some salt on the bottom. Once it's rested for 30 minutes, you need to brush them with egg wash for a light glazing and then optionally just drizzle them with some sesame seeds. Keep that on top of the salt and close the lid and let that cook for around 25 to 30 minutes on medium to low flame. Also take off the top thingy. Then for making it in the oven, again brush them with egg wash. So right now it's not stuck together but then once it's baked, they're gonna stick together. Just put on some sesame seeds on the top and then you can bake them. You just need to get the rolls to a light brown color like this. And there, the chicken cheese bread rolls are ready. They're super simple and delicious to make. And look at how soft the bun is. The roll is really soft and also the chicken filling and the cheese is all very very delicious. I hope everybody tries this recipe out. And that's what we made in the oven. Now I'll also show you how it is when we make it in the pressure cooker. So here the diner rolls are ready. I've made them in the pressure cooker. And it's going to be different from what you make in the oven because in the pressure cooker we're steaming it. But in the oven when we give the flame on top, it's going to be perfectly brown. But in the pressure cooker it's not going to be that brown. But it's going to taste the same and the bun is also going to be really soft. So you can try it out in the pressure cooker also. And that's how easy it is to make. I hope everybody tries it out. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Love cooking. Bye-bye.